Hi everyone, Basil Chapman on this Wednesday. This is the 6th of uh, April. We're looking at the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow's down 334,343. The high that was made at 35,372 achieved that peak D that we're always talking about in Chapman Wave methodology. Buy signal to buy mode goes to at least a D. And look at that pullback we've had. We've had the same thing in the S&P. The S&P right now is down uh, 60 at 4465 from that peak D top at 4637.30. That's the fourth highest peak. We're looking at the QQQ. Now that only went to a B and then failed. It's down eight at 352. And that's the technicals in all of these indices at this particular point are still holding pretty darn well. The IWM though has, um, it's just about across negative in the nine under the 14. It's down almost three at 200. This is the one that's been the weakest. Gold is holding pretty well when you consider that uh, it's had a huge move up to the 2078 level and now it's down at the 1929s. But it's in a sideways, really, it's a digester phase. Nothing to see there. Crude oil, almost the same thing. Crude oil is trading at 101.47. It's within the range, but the big range miss is the TLT, which is the bonds, iShares, 20-year treasury bond fund, down $1.73 at 126.76. This is a big move to the downside, and the rates, I showed it earlier on, the five-year is screaming over the 30-year, not just the 10-year, but the, the T-note yield is way over the 30. It's the Fed... The work for the Fed is almost done. It just has to formalize it as far as I can see. Now, what's really important is the IYT, the transportation index, has really almost gone down to the low that was made back in, I think it was February, and it's at 246. It's down five and a half at 246. So these are all signs to say, watch the economy. There is a slowing. If you look at Ford, if you look at General Motors, you look at the IY, the transportation index, how do we handle it? Does the market at a certain point very soon, like it's starting to ignore the war, will it ignore the rates? Because we know the market hates uncertainty, but it's getting, to, and it, it hates uncertainty about uncertainty. So the uncertainty will be a little clarified today when the Fed speak comes out. Does the Dow manage to rally towards the end of the day to only close down 110 points rather than 300 more or more? We'll see. It's a very critical moment. Stay tuned. You've got Larry Pazaventa coming up. Great programming all the way through today. Tommy O'Brien uh, Tom wraps it up at 4 o'clock. Don't forget, Tommy O'Brien starts us off at 9. Have a great day. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. See you tomorrow. Have a great day.